Welcome to another codingbad.com tutorial. Today we will be doing array two, uh, exercise 10 run. The question says, for each multiple of 10 in the given array, change all the values following it to be that multiple of 10 until encountering another multiple of 10. So two, 10, three, four, 20, and five yields two, 10, 10, 10, 20, 20. So if we look at that, this first example here, uh, we just want to check to see if the integer we're looking at is a multiple of 10. So 2 is not a multiple of 10. However, 10 is. So starting from 10 onwards, uh, unless the integer is a multiple of 3, it is changed to 10. So 3 becomes 10, 4 becomes 10. Uh, 20 is a multiple of 10. So from here on out, um, the rest of the integers in the array become 20. So 5 becomes 20. Uh, in the second example, uh, we already start off with a multiple of 10. So 1 becomes 10. And uh, the next number is 20, which is a multiple of 10. So 2 becomes 20. Um, in the third example, uh, the first number is a multiple of 10. So 1 becomes 10, and 9 becomes 10, but 20 remains as it is. So first, uh, we should create uh, a variable called change to know uh, what each integer should change by in case, it, uh, it, in case a multiple of 10 is passed. So uh, we should also create a boolean that I'll name condition to check if we passed by a multiple of 10 in the first place. And finally, we create a for loop that runs through the length of the entire nums integer array. And here, if the number at i is a multiple of 10, which we can check using the mod function, um, then we'll say that the condition boolean that we just set above, we'll set it to true. And we'll say that the change integer will be equal to that number. Then, if the condition is true, so if you've already passed by a multiple of 10, then that number will be changed to whatever the change number is. And then we simply return the number again. So what happens here? So as we're running through the for loop, uh, we'll just take the first example. Um, if number at i is a multiple of 10, so 2 is not a multiple of 10. So we'll go to the next iteration. So we'll be looking at 10 here. So if the number at i is a multiple of 10, which it is, then we set the condition to true. And we change the integer change to the number 10. Now, because we just set the condition to true, uh, that number will be set equal to change. So three will be set. So upon the next iteration, three will be set to 10 and four will be set to 10. Now we come to 20. Because 20 is also a multiple of 10 and the condition is already set to true, the change is once again changed from 10 to 20. Uh, continuing on from 20, we come across to 5. Because the new change value is equal to 20, 5 is changed to 20. Now, if we try running this program, we got all correct. 